Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to build Delete Employee REST API. So let's go to our project in English idea over here. Well, first we'll change the service layer and then we'll change the controller layer because the controller layer is depends on service layer. So let us go to employee service interface over here. And within this interface, let us define the method. So let us give wide as a return type of the method. And let us give method name as Delete Employee. And let us pass the employee ID as a parameter to this method. Next, let us go ahead and let us implement this delete employee method in our employee service IMPL class. So go to employee service IMPL class over here. Just mouse over on this class, click on this implement methods and choose the method that you want to implement. Click on OK. All right. Next, let us go ahead and let us implement this delete employee method. So here, first of all, we need to add the validation like if employee with a given id is not exist in database then we have to throw the resource not found exception isn't it so if you go to update employee method over here here we have already written the logic okay so let us copy this piece of code and go to delete employee method and here just paste this piece of code so here basically we are calling find by id method and this find by id method returns optional so again here we are calling or else through method of optional object and here basically we are providing the lambda implementation of supplier functional interface. So basically if employee with a given ID is not existing database, then this piece of code will basically throw the resource not found exception. Next, let us call employee repository. It has delete by ID method and then pass employee ID as a parameter to this method. Okay, perfect. So this delete by ID method will basically delete the employee by ID. All right, next. Let us create delete employee rest API that will internally call this method. So go to employee controller over here. Within employee controller, let us build delete employee rest API. So here, let me write the comment first. Build delete employee rest API. So first, we'll create a method and then we'll convert that method into rest API by using Spring annotations. So here, just type public and then response entity as a written type. So let us pass string as a type and then let's view method name as delete employee. All right, and let us pass employee ID as a parameter to this method. Perfect. Next, within our delete employee method, let us call employee service. It has delete employee method and then pass employee ID. Next, let us have a return statement return response entity dot OK. And let us pass the success message that is employee deleted successfully something like that perfect now we have created delete employee method let us make this method as a rest api by using spring annotations so here let us annotate this method with add delete mapping annotation well we use add delete mapping annotation to map the incoming http delete request to this method Next, we need to pass the ID to this annotation. So here, within a curly braces, just pass the ID. So this ID is nothing but a URI template variable. And we need to bind the value of this URI template variable to the method argument. So in order to do that, we can use add path variable annotation and then pass URI template variable name. Perfect. Now we have built delete employee REST API. Next, let us rerun our Spring Boot application and let us test this REST API using Postman client. So from here, I want to stop and run the Spring Boot application. Well, our Spring Boot application is up and running. Next, let's go to Postman client over here. And here, let me copy this link. And let me create a new request. And here, let us choose HTTP delete method. And let us enter the request URL localhost 800 slash API slash employees. And here, we need to pass the employee ID that we are going to delete. For example, let us say we want to delete the employee with ID 1 then we have to pass the employee ID 1 in the request URL. Next, if you look at the database table, employees table, so employees table has an employee with ID 1. Okay, now we are going to basically delete the employee with ID 1 from the employees table. So let us go back to Postman client and go ahead and click on send button over here and look at here the response, employee deleted successfully and the status code 200 OK. Next, let us go to MySQL workbench, go to employees table, select rows and look at here the employee with the 
ID 1 is successfully deleted from the employee's table. It means the delete employee REST API is working as expected. Next, let us delete one more employee like we are going to delete a employee with ID 3. So let us go back to Postman client and here let us pass the employee ID that we are going to delete. We are going to delete employee with ID 3. Next, click on send button and there we go. We got the response that is success response. Next, let us go to MySQL workbench. Select rows from the employee table and there we go. You can see here the employee with ID 3 is successfully deleted from the employee's table. Alright, it means the delete employee's table is working as expected. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.